Oh, boy. I'll tell you, this house has really started going to hell. You know? Look at this. Dust and dirt and, I don't know, look at cobwebs and, and, geez, plants that haven't been watered and what, probably, oh, I don't know, I've been dead for about 30 years now and I'll tell you what, it needs a little repair. It's Halloween and we get one gift every year to come on Halloween night to, to uh, roam the earth and uh, see what's going on. I thought I'd come back to the old homestead here. The old ghoul wagon cowboy. <laughs> and uh, I ain't like I used to be. It's, it's, it's been a, quite a few years, but uh, someone wanted to see a show, an old, an old revival of our show, so I thought I'd come back for y'all on Halloween and thought we'd kick up the old uh, stove here and see what we could do for y'all. And so you have to excuse how I look. Uh, I didn't... Uh, I didn't really uh, freshen up or anything, you know, it's kind of kind of hard when you're dead in a cap, ca coffin for <laughs> the last 30 years. So, anyway, found the old apron somewhere and found the old hat, it's got a few cobwebs on it, I think we'll be alright. Well, I think we'll try to do a show here. Let's see what we can do for you on this special Halloween edition of the Ghoul Wagon Cowboy. <laughs> so let's go! <coughs> got some ingredients here. What we're going to do, like I said, I, I kind of came here. I've got one night a year to come here and uh, play around a little bit, but for y'all, I'm doing this show for y'all. So I came kind of unprepared. There ain't much in the kitchen. Hell, no one's lived here for a while. <laughs> and uh, so I ain't got much to offer, but we're going to try to make you up some, some good Halloween food for y'all. This is a recipe that that my mama way back when made for us when we were kids and growing up and I carried the tradition along at parties and get togethers when I used to have Halloween when I was living okay and uh, so what we're going to do for you today or tonight is uh, called mummy dogs alright mummy dogs you're gonna find out what they are in just a second alright like I said, don't have, didn't have much time to get stuff together, so, but we're going to show you how this is all going to work. So let's get to the ingredients, shall we? Alright, we got here 10 all beef hot dogs. These are the good stuff here. Now you don't want to get yourself um, the uh, plump them as you cook them type. And I'll explain that later when we get uh, going with uh, building the recipe here, alright? Get yourself here an 11 ounce, one can 11 ounce uh, uh, breadstick dough. All right. And what I've done here is I've gone ahead. <coughs> excuse me. I've gone ahead here and I've uh, taken the breadsticks out of the package, the dough. I've unraveled them and then I've gone ahead and, and split them into into their little uh, bread breadstick dough pieces. And I just layered them in a bowl. And uh, we're gonna have a little fun with these in just a bit too. All right. Next thing I got here, I just got a, a, a little bit, maybe about oh a tablespoon or two of uh, Dijon mustard, and we're gonna play around with that and have a little fun with our mummy dogs. I'll show you what that's all about in just a bit. Okay. Lastly, got a little flour here that we're gonna put on our uh, our, uh, our our board here that we're gonna be laying out our dough, and I'll show you what that's all about too. So a lot of things I'm gonna show you here. So instead of me yakking, let's get to work. All right. Well, all right, y'all, uh, we're here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start our mummy dogs. And the first thing we want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and get yourself a, a, a cutting board here, some kind of board that you can lay your dough on, all right? And the first thing I'm going to do here is sprinkle a little flour on here because we don't want our breadstick dough to be sticking around. So just do that, get it nice and swirled around here like that. Get a little bit on your hands too, because uh, you can get a little sticky. All right. And also, what you want to need to do is get yourself a pizza cutter or a knife. Now, I like to use a pizza cutter for this uh, technique. I'll show you why. It just makes it a little easier. You can use a knife too. All right. Set that down there. Now, 
you got your bowl of, uh, of uh, breadstick dough here, and you just want to go ahead and take one piece at a time here. We'll go ahead and take our first piece. Let's go ahead and lay that out like so. All right. I'm going to do it long ways like this. All I'm going to do is just cut this in half. All right. You want to you want to you want to have these strips cut in half. So our object here is to take the 12 strips of uh, breadstick dough that they give you and create 24 little mini strips. They're going to be the bandages that go on our mummy dogs, all right? So just go ahead, take your pizza cutter. You see how easy this is. That's why I said the pizza cutter works much, much better. All right, that's it. That's as simple as that. You know, you can get your kids to help with this too. Y'all remember my KISS style of cooking, right? Keeping it short and simple, my acronym. All right, so we got here. Now you see what's going to happen. These little strips here are going to go around the hot dogs, all right? And uh, that's what's going to make our mummy dogs pop out. All right, so I'm going to continue doing all this. When we come back, we're going to take a bunch of these strips, and we're going to get dogging, all right? So come back. Well, all right, y'all, here we are. We've got our breadsticks. We've got them cut in half. We have 24 laid out right here. Kind of look like femur bones if you if you look at them a strange way. It so kind of fits into the whole Halloween mode there. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of dust down there. But uh, we're gonna go ahead now. We're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how this is all gonna turn out. This is the first stage of our mummy dogs. Now what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and get yourself a hot dog that we got here in the bowl. Get yourself a hot dog. Take one of your strips. Now, what you really want to do, obviously, have clean hands, first of all. You know, and second of all, you go ahead, take, take a little bit of flour and just kind of put it over the, the dough here itself. Because what happens, when this dough gets warm, it starts getting sticky. And you don't want to have this stuff stick into your hands or the board itself. So I just kind of do a little bit like that just to keep, keep it nice and pliable. All right. And I've got some on my hands here, too. All right. So... Go ahead and take one of your strips, and you're just going to go ahead and start at the top. All right, start at the very top, and like that, and, you, and like that, and you're just going to go ahead and uh, work your way around, all right, like so. All right, what the object here is you want to have them look like bandages, all right. So you're just going to go around like this. It's pliable, you can pull it, and you're probably going to need about two or three strips. We'll see. Usually I can get away with two, sometimes it depends. So we're just wrapping it like this. All right, and you see it kind of starts looking like bandages after a while. Do that, all right. And you can stretch these two. Okay, because you want to make this, you're going to want to have enough. All right, now we're going to have to use another one, it looks like, here as well. So let me do that. And probably don't need all that much. Uh, let's see. Start at the back here. And work our way. You know, it's been a long time since I've done this. You have to excuse me. I'm a little slower than I used to be about 60, 70 years ago. All right. We'll tuck that baby in. You can pinch that off and use that as your next strip starter. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do is just make a little bit of a indentation slide this down a little bit and we're going to get to that in a bit what we're going to do all right so there just like that okay you, you don't you you want to keep the you want to keep the bandage looking like a bandage so that looks good like that all right so what you do then once you get your hot dog wrapped up in your bandages there just go ahead just go ahead and place that in your cookie sheet. Now you want to go ahead and get yourself a cookie sheet, line it with some uh, aluminum foil or parchment paper, whatever you feel like. Lightly grease this. Use your butter wrappers. If you remember to use them. You know I've always preached those all the time when I was alive. So I've gone ahead and believe it or not, there was a butter wrapper I found lying around in the freezer that was still going. Just line that all up. And just lay them in like that. Now we're going to have here probably 10 hot dogs lined up this way. I'll show you. I'm going to keep going ahead and I'm going to keep rolling these up. Um, and when we come back, I'm going to show you 
the final pre-product here of them lying here in the cookie sheet before we get them in the oven. Now what you want to do in the oven, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, okay, while you're rolling this all out so it's nice and hot before you put these babies in. And we'll get to that stage here in just a moment, all right? So let me keep wrapping and rolling here and we'll come back and show you how these are all turning out, all right? All right. Well, all right, y'all. We have our mummy dogs here. They're laying in their final resting place and they're gonna be cremated. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put these in our 375 degree cremorium here and uh, we're gonna put these in for about 13 to 17 minutes depending on your oven. Now with my oven it's about 15 minutes so go ahead I'd say you go ahead and set your timer for about 15 check on them. You want to make sure that the bandages are nicely golden brown because we want to get these nicely cooked. These mummies are just dying to be eaten. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and have some mummies. All right. Mummies are getting ready to be cremated. <laughs> and while they're baking, I'm gonna go scare some old family members that are roaming the earth right now as we speak. So we'll come back when they're done. <laughs> well, all right, y'all, we got the uh, mummy dogs out of the cremorium and they are looking really good here they're nicely brown and and uh, they're looking they're looking good they're looking real good okay so now before we serve these up to our guests we uh, we need to do one more little project on these all right we need to give them some life so to speak so you want to go ahead and take your mustard we showed you earlier in the ingredients and go ahead what you're going to do is you're going to take one of them and uh, get your mustard I'm just going to dot the eye each eye okay and you may have to go ahead and work on this a little bit you gotta let these cool for about 15 minutes first okay so let them set for about 15 minutes and uh, there we go just like that don't have to be real big and globby, just enough to give them a little life to them there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish dotting the making life to these and giving them eyes so they can uh, enjoy Halloween themselves before they're eaten. And uh, we're going to come back with uh, our five horseshoe yeehaw test and our final presentation. All right, so stick around. <laughs> Well, here we are with our mummy dogs and our, um, we've got here a little mummy in its coffin, <laughs> just uh, enjoying his rest before he is awakened for the feast, so to speak. And his little Nubis keeping guard, how precious. All right, so. Let's go ahead and awaken the mummy. <laughs> and uh, have at it. He looks so nice in that. All right. So, we have here our mummy dog. And we have a little bit of dipping sauce. All it is is a little bit of mustard, Dijon mustard, ketchup, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and a hint of pickle relish. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the autopsy now. <laughs> and open him up. I can't wait. Mm. Let's see, where should I, should I have the head? Or should I go for the feet? The head? My cameraman says go for the head. All right. I mean, you're only on Earth one day of the year. One evening. Oh, I got a bandage. Oh dear. Oh well. I'm sure he'll. 
Alright. So, we're going to do our five horseshoe yeehaw test. Let's give this a go and see here. I'm sorry. <laughs> the things you miss when you're dead. I give this a postpartum yeehaw. It is fantastic. If you love hot dogs and you like the simplicity of some nice dough that's wrapped into them. It's a very simple dish. The dipping sauce is fantastic. It's got a sweet and tangy tart taste to it. It takes away the pain of our poor mummy dog as he's being dissembled. But what can I say? It's Halloween and we only have fun one time a year, so well, that's all for our show. Maybe I'll see you around again in another life. Maybe not. But wherever you go, you know that the ghoul wagon cowboy will always be with you. So, signing off, this is the ghoul wagon cowboy saying, Happy Halloween. Good eating. Fancy trails. <laughs>